Your WNEM TV 5 News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. A memorial service is scheduled today for the little girl who drowned in the Flint River. Taj Evans went missing last month and was found last Saturday after dive teams searched the river for 22 miles. Today's service it starts at 2 at the Serenity Funeral Chapel on West Carpenter. That's in Flint. A GoFundMe has also been created for her family. You can find it in the hot link section of WNEM.com. Well, five years of the Moving Flint Forward program sees a bevy of small businesses receive grants. The GM-funded initiative awards 17 grants worth $10,000 each. They'll go to Flint businesses new to the program. Seven Moving Flint Forward alumni also receive $5,000 grants. Those who earn the award represent a wide array of businesses like landscaping, retail, food, and entertainment. Stick with TV5 for more. Well, traffic alert for you. Construction on US 10 continues today as demolition for the Mackinac Bridge overpass at Mackinac Road overpass. It takes place tonight. East and westbound US 10 will be closed tonight until Monday morning. Detours will be posted. Michigan Department of Transportation plans to add two roundabouts at the overpass. The project is expected to finish in November. Now here's Diane to look at your forecast. We have had some sunshine on this Friday, but the cloud cover wants to have a little piece of the day. We're going to find that for the afternoon and even into the evening. Those clouds are going to be filling in. We'll find also a little bit of green showing up on the hour by hour forecast. We do have some drier air that's in place, so it really depends if the amount of water can work its way over the dry conditions. I anticipate that at best just a couple of sprinkles are going to be, going to be able to make it to the ground. You may find though on radar that it shows up green, but yet it's not raining where you are at. So just keep in mind that this could evaporate as it starts to push through. So we're going to have just those rain chances here this evening. Then overnight we will find that we have the rainfall. It's going to start when a lot of us are catching our Z's and no worries. We aren't going to have severe weather along this line. This is just going to be some rainfall and it though is going to kind of pivot back in spiral some rain back at us throughout the day on Saturday. So that's why we're keeping scattered showers in the morning is when we're going to pick up the bulk of the rain so you may have some outside time here and there throughout the afternoon on Saturday. Just have the TV5 first alert weather ride radar going on the app. You're going to find that those conditions may allow for some memories with mom even as we go into Sunday. You can see the clouds. They're trying to clear out. It's going to be a better rain chance for us as we go into the second half of the day and hopefully we can even hold off towards the nighttime. So we're working on that forecast. As far as the nighttime tonight, we do have the chance for seeing the northern lights meteorologist Kyle Gillette. He's been keeping an eye on this one and you are going to find if you look towards the north, there's a chance. The one thing though is that we typically need is clear skies and we won't have that tonight. So if you can get away from the city lights, can catch a break in the clouds, maybe we can get a good look at that. So there's a chance at it. As far as the amount of cloud cover, you are going to find that we have well limited cloud cover into the evening, but then it's overnight and even kind of right into that time frame that we can see the lights is when we start to see that cloud cover work its way back. Back in. So in your first alert seven day forecast, we will find then the rain chances scattered here throughout the weekend and even into early next week. Finally, it looks like we are able to dry out a little bit. Hopefully we can even dry Tuesday out. That would be nice to have a stretch. There are some dry days with some sunshine. You'll also find highs though during this time are still scattered between the 50s, 60s and 70s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.